Hi, I'm Shashi and this is Curry Soup. So, November is just around the corner and it's about the time where all the guys who are really really lazy to shave would just go about saying, dude, it's no shave November, why should I shave? So that's what we're going to be talking about today and more specifically, we're going to be talking about what exactly is no shave November, how it started and what we could do instead of just not shaving for a month. So what is it and how it started? There are multiple stories on how it actually started. All of them have a similar gist to it. So the story goes like this. A bunch of friends or family members who just recently lost someone they love to cancer. So they decided that they should do something to contribute to the betterment of the treatment of cancer for everyone else. So this was a discussion which was done at the end of October. So they decided the following month that they would not shave or groom themselves for a month and whatever amount of money they would spend for grooming or shaving they would donate it to the to a cancer foundation or for a cancer treatment research so that's how it started so what is it exactly the idea of it is for you to not shave for a month so one is so that you can accumulate whatever small amount of money that you can accumulate for that month which you would ordinarily spend for grooming and donate it to this foundation Number two is when you're going out completely unshaven and completely ungroomed, people are going to be asking you what's wrong with you. Some might actually run away from you, but your colleagues and your friends might ask. This opens an opportunity for you to actually explain to them what exactly is going on, what kind of cancers are predominantly uh, affecting men and what they could do on their part to contribute to the betterment of this condition. So if you're wondering why is it so important to do this and why does this thing even matter, one thing you should understand is the two most predominant cancer in men which is often overlooked by most of us and by overlook I mean that we don't really um, take precautions to, to watch out for it or test for it. Like for example for women they have the most predominant cancer in women is breast cancer and there are tons of videos out there for women to self-check if there are any lumps or any masses, any irregularities in their breasts so that they could have early detection and they could get better treatment and better prognosis for it. But for guys, you hardly see any of these videos or pamphlets around. This gives an opportunity for us to spread the word so that people would know what they're supposed to do. And the two major cancers affecting men are prostate cancer and testicular cancer. Prostate cancer is more towards older men, men more than 65 years old. And one in nine men are usually diagnosed with prostate cancer and benign prostatic hyperplasia is a very common occurrence in elderly men. Second, testicular cancer is the most common cancer in men aged between 15 and 34. It's the ninth most frequent cancer at ages 0 to 14 and 10th most frequent cancer at ages 14 to 49. So what can you do instead of just not shaving? Number one is of course whatever amount of money that you would have allocated for your grooming and shaving for that particular month you can donate it to the Movember Foundation. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Number two, if people are actually asking you why are you unshaven, you could actually explain to them what exactly is going on. What should they be looking out for? What cancers are predominant in men? Why should they get checked often? And number three is test yourself. As I explained, number one is prostate cancer. For this, a test can only be done by a doctor. It is called a digital rectal examination. But don't be fooled, the digital does not actually mean a computer screen test a digital actually means digits so a doctor will put a glove on put some KY jelly on and put his finger up your butthole and that's where they'll check the consistency the size of the prostate if there are any irregularities in the prostate for you early detection means earlier treatment meaning better prognosis number two is prostate specific antigen test this is a blood test so they take some blood from you and they'll do a test in the lab and the result will show whether if your prostate specific antigen is increased or reduced. Increased meaning higher chances of getting prostate cancer and normal is normal as it is. And the second most common cancer, testicular cancer, this you can do at home. Just like how females have their own self-check for breast cancer, guys, check your balls. So it's, it's not something weird or something to be laughed about. It's something you've been looking at every single day for your whole life. So while you're taking a bath or something, just check if there are any irregularities there, any hardness, any pain, any increase in size, anything odd, just go to a doctor and get it checked out. Like I said, earlier detection, better treatment, better prognosis. 
So that's about No Shave November. I hope this message get across to some of you so that this No Shave November is not just used as a fashion statement but also a proper way of increasing awareness about prostate cancer and testicular cancer. And if there are any other topics you want me to talk about, just comment down below. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video so more people will know about this and let's not shave for a month. Bye-bye.